thank you to this place. It was amazing. Perfect experience. We just had breakfast and starting our hike. It's almost 9, 9 a.m. Chilly morning. A long day ahead. You ready? Mm -hmm. Yesterday's rain. This is where my waterproof shoes get really handy because the grass is wet. So far, how how much how long? Like an hour? Not even an hour? We've been here. So far, an hour and a half. An hour and a half, and it's beautiful from the start, and it's probably gonna get even more and more beautiful. It's breathtaking. Breathtaking. Even if we had to stop here, I would be already happy to see this. So, uh, question of the day: How was it so far? So we started at 9, it's now 10.18, we're at this point, we've gone up uh, 236 meters. For me, it's good because you took my deodorant, it's the heaviest. <laughs> <laughs> now you're struggling. I'm, I'm carrying all the weight. 
The universe loves me. I always I'll get hearts everywhere. I think from here on it's gonna be down. Nah, it's so nice here. Come. Also, probably the most dangerous. Overprotective. This is my most beautiful hike ever. Well, Camino Primitivo, there were a few spots similar to this with the lake lake down there but still just as you think you're done with the climbing we're going back up very important piece of advice to stock up on snacks in Pola de Gordon that's the last spot where you can actually uh, have an access to the grocery store because in Buiza Buiza there was nothing and at the hotel that we stayed at yesterday in Poladura um, we had dinner the breakfast only starts at 8 30 we would love to leave earlier but since we had absolutely no food on us we stayed um, for breakfast and for breakfast we had uh, toast with butter and jam and coffee that's it uh, which is okay, but <laughs> maybe not sufficient for a hike we're doing today. Would have lo we would have loved to have some eggs and protein. And uh, that's it. So yeah, very important advice. Uh, stock up on some protein bars or nuts or whatever you need for the day. This is what I got at the hotel for a snack. Before it was all yellow flowers for your sweater. Now I think it's my turn. The purple flowers for my purple shirt. <laughs> we knew how to dress today. <laughs> Path we have to cross. It's important not also to look forward, but sometimes to look back because it's also pretty. And look at the sky. A road walking. The words Pajares, Pajares, Pajares. Hoping to get food somewhere here. That cafe is open, it says Abierto. I really hope we can get food because my left foot is really starting to hurt. I need some rest. But these views, look at these views. <sighs> We're gonna have lunch with the view. Look at this view. We're like in Switzerland. Back on the Camino, we had lunch there, now climbing this way. You are on top of the world! <laughs> I know you wish you weren't. An advice? 
if you feel tired at this point just after that restaurant that i showed you just stick to the highway and you don't need to do all this climb for nothing because now you have to go down and basically cross this highway it will save you probably 40 minutes came all the way from there it was brutal and we could have just continued on the highway yes it's not safe but uh, it would save a lot of energy and time and at the end of the day it's really precious and now you cross the highway and we continue this way In preparation for today, we looked at different pictures online just to see how difficult the day would be, trying to estimate. But honestly, in real life, it's so much better. I don't even remember seeing this. So it's either the pictures do not justify the beauty at all, or I don't know. I don't know, but you have to see it. It's absolutely incredible. So this is the split. The road on the left they recommend for uh, bikers and those who are going to Lianes or Bendue Benduenes. We're supposed to go to the right if you're going to Pajares. I don't see a path yet. Oh yeah, well there is an arrow so we have to go that way. The views at the beginning of the day, you said it was probably the best views of the day. No, they were not. Wrong. This is incredible. Wrong, wrong, wrong. Very steep descent, very narrow path. I don't think it's doable in the bad weather. I don't know how. And this is another path. If you went, if you go left where the um, split is, this is a path. It's actually amazing. It looks amazing. Yeah. Now we're going into the woods. And advice if it rained the day before stick to the highway this was white the enthusiasm is low after this descent descent killed us <laughs> killed the shoes That's what we wore. And it's not even, it wasn't even our highest point. Pajares. Arriving. in Pajanes. Oh look, the church is open. Oh no, it's not. This is the albergue in Pajares. We arrived, there is nobody. You can call the phone number and they will open. We're deciding whether to stay in the uh, Pension El Mirador or to go stay at the albergue.
At the end of the day, we couldn't stay at any of those places. The owner of Pension El Mirador unfortunately had a very unwelcoming attitude. And since it was the only food option in town, staying at the municipal albergue was also not an option. So we decided to take a taxi and go to Llanos, especially since I've heard so much about that amazing albergue. And we did not regret that decision, not for a second. Hospitalier Pablo and his family were absolutely incredible and very welcoming. The food was amazing. We were the only ones staying at the albergue that night. So we got the VIP experience. We go to the to the national and on the green we go up. This red. I would definitely recommend this albergue. Um, it's nice, it's clean, it's new. We had homemade dinner, amazing dinner, uh, made with local produce. Just amazing, just amazing, superb, superb experience. If, if nothing changes in the next couple of years, after we had lunch, at some point there was a split. So basically there is a split where you can go straight to Lianos or you can go to Pajares. So the road splits. I would recommend you to go left and go straight to Llanos, past Pajares, not even bother to go in Pajares, unless you don't mind or unless you really want to stay on the budget and stay at the municipal albergue, which is very understandable. But honestly, I would totally go to Llanos because this, uh, this experience is amazing. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm really happy that we did the hike today. I'm so grateful. I'm beyond grateful that my knee and my foot let us do it because the views were fantastic. I think these were the best views I've ever, I've ever had in my life, I think, or one of the best. And yeah, last night I did a lot of self-healing, theta healing. <laughs> Um, on myself, a lot of energy healing so that my knee heals overnight. And I feel, yes, my foot was hurting a bit. My knee was absolutely fine the whole day, even with all these ups and downs. So I'm, I'm beyond grateful. I'm beyond grateful. This was a fantastic day with a fantastic ending.